Hi folks and welcome back. Well this kit just had me laughing from start to finish. It appealed to the inner child so much. It's a rifle with a bayonet fitted. And what a great little build it is. Total parts are four number two perforated strips, four number five perforated strips, four number ten fish plates and two number ninety curves. And it's all in gold from the 1930s and leaves everything to the imagination. And unlike some of the other models in these builds, this was to play with. It's a toy from performing drill to playing make-believe soldiers in gardens and woods. This glorious golden rifle glinting in the sun would have been wonderful. While some of the models are very close to the prototype, some just need to look like it, to make the details work in our minds. The human brain will fill in the gaps, making the mental picture complete. That's why we see shapes and patterns and things that aren't there. My bathroom door is a wood plank door, and on the stretchers that run side to side, there are horse riders having a race. And on the planks there are two Bugs Bunny-esque rabbits standing tall. They aren't there in reality, but once my brain had made the connection, that was that. They saw the shapes made by the knots of wood left over from where side branches once grew. The centre part of the rifle is the keystone to this model. The section where the trigger connects to the top of the rifle all the way to where the trigger guard bolts onto the foregrip and stock. Once that area was constructed, the rest held together nicely. The barrel was bolted together using the basic construction principle, or BC, number four. Total build time was less than 10 minutes. And I wonder how many thrusts it took with the bayonet to end up with either a bent barrel or a stern telling off from mum for hurting your younger brother because this thing would hurt. A clubbing hit from the butt would do some damage. But mummy, I was taking him prisoner. I had to knock him out. Otherwise, I would have had to shoot him. Would you want me to have shot Timmy? Would you? Okay, at this point I've gone off to get something. I think it's another fish plate, not realising there are a number on the bench already. I can still remember with a deep sense of profound loss being around 11 and looking at toys that I'd played with for most of my childhood that no longer held the same imaginary grasp that once they had. No longer did we patrol the streets with toy guns. Kids did that. Our campaigns that were waged in local woodland ceased and the enemy was able to draw breath, albeit for a short time, as the next generation fought in the same tree lines, taking the strongholds from the enemy. No longer did we hear wild Indian drums in the hills as we explored a land that had never seen civilised man before, armed with automatic rifle and hand grenades waiting for the fatal shot from poisoned arrows that zigged and zagged amongst us. And little did we understand the geopolitics that our unwanted intrusions might have had. In short, we grew up. For my arsenal of weapons that I once had, purchased at village jumble sales, I now only have two left, sat on a shelf to remind me that once I fought great battles and stood as tall as any hero of old. Have a great week, folks. I will catch you on Saturday with the first of the highway builds, the Cement Lorry. And on Patreon, it's the Beam Engine and Pit Head Gear exploring the history behind coal mining.